again. Here's Gray, baby in the back, eating some pretzels. Today I'm having a lymph node taken out of the right side under my armpit and a right axillary node, if you will. I will. Good. It's one of the only things that's showing up on PET scan now, and it's the only node in the area. Um, it was kind of like enlarged on previous scans, but they weren't like super worried about it, and they didn't like think that there was cancer in it or anything, and they just were kind of watching it. Then, like maybe three weeks ago now, I felt it under my arm and was like, this kind of feels familiar. <laughs> because it wasn't like super painful, but it was just like a little bit of pain where I knew what it felt like um, because last time it felt like that, there was cancer in my lymph node on my left side. So I kind of was really thinking it was cancer. And then I had an appointment um, and they, they were like, it's not super urgent to schedule this. And it's not, it wasn't super urgent. So we just kind of, took our time the next time I was by the hospital I made an appointment they were like yeah this is most likely cancer we didn't do a biopsy because we wanted to have a scan first um, because we thought if we did the just a biopsy then it would like show up on the scan and it would be hard to know if it was cancer or if it was just like surgical stuff so we didn't do a biopsy then we just looked at it on ultrasound and they were pretty confident that it was going to be cancer so we're just going to take it out then I had my scan the next week and had the scan results Wednesday which was the same day as the scan then Friday last week I had an appointment with the breast surgeon to sign the consents for the surgery because they had an opening today which is Monday so it all happened super fast and um, I'm really glad that they can fit me in because it feels really good to just take care of it and get it out as fast as possible and not have to wait. So it should be an easy surgery. Um, not, I don't have to go under general anesthesia, just like the regular, I mean, I guess general is regular. I don't know. This is kind of like the same stuff you get for wisdom teeth and stuff like that. The other spot that they found on the PET scan was a spot in my hip. I have another video where I'm explaining that and I'm going to start radiation for that a week from today. Well, see you later. <laughs> yeah, it might have been more than one. Oh, they took out multiple ones. Though. She took out just, everything that looks suspicious. Just, it's not just all of them. Beside, just beside it, nothing that yeah. she was overly concerned about. Not a, not a bunch, just just it was a slightly How bigger. How many? Than, well, she doesn't know. I guess it's all together. How do you feel? I feel like they gave me more stuff than last time. Yeah, they did. It was kind of deep. You're bundled up. You got your air hose. Are you warm yet? Yeah, they, so because the lymph node was deep and they, they added more anesthesia than normal. Apparently, and it was a little bigger, so they took out a little bit more. What do you mean by bigger? Like the lymph node that was suspicious was a little bit bigger than she saw on the pet. How bigger? Um, I'm not sure. Hello. I don't know how much we filmed in there because we weren't really supposed to film in a lot of the areas. I felt like more loopy than normal coming out of that surgery, so I feel like they gave me a lot of anesthesia. And I don't remember initially waking up, which I normally do. And also, you guys weren't in the room as far back as my memory goes so like you were walking into the room that's what I remember but mm -hmm. like usually I'm like can they come back yet can they come back yet I guess you said doctors let you back like early yeah did you ask or did she, no, just... she just did it well she said someone else was gonna come uh, let us in and then she said I'll just let you in oh that's nice so maybe that's just why the spot might have been bigger than they originally thought, so they might have taken out more lymph nodes. And what does that mean, might have? Like, she said it might have been more than one node, so I don't know if they're clumped together. I don't know what lymph nodes look yeah, like. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm confused.
confused about. Like, it's not clear how many nodes you take out. I don't know. She just got everything that looked suspicious. She took out everything suspicious. The last thing I remember is talking about Alaska and one of the nurses, Alaska crews, and where we lived in Alaska. And I don't even remember them putting the oxygen on. Hello, I wanted to make this before I forgot. I wanted to really show my incision um, because I wanted to document that and just show I'm sitting here by myself in this bed again. If you saw my last lumpectomy vlog, you'll know that um, Gray and the baby um, went to sleep in her room basically because she will typically get out of her bed in the middle of the night and come to our room and we don't want her to do that because I'm sore on this side and we don't want her coming in bed with us and just hurting me and kicking me or whatever so he is sleeping on an air mattress in her room so that when she gets up in the middle of the night then um, she can go with him on the air mattress which she has already done because she basically was planning it from the beginning. As soon as she saw the air mattress go into the room, she said that she was going to sleep on Dada's bed. Um, she calls the air mattress his bed, I guess. Oh, I have the little mark on my right side. If you guys don't know, before you go to surgery, a lot of times they'll mark on your body which side they're operating on so that they like make sure they know what side they're operating on when they get into the operating room. It's something that's like really funny because it's like, of course, like this is the right side, but like they like do it while you're awake so they can confirm with you like, okay, we're doing this on the right side, right? You're like on the same page as us, right? And then um, when they're in the operating room, they're like, oh, yep, look, there's the mark on the right side. I guess we can do it on the right side. So far, I think that my pain is like way less than the pain with a lumpectomy. I thought it was going to be a lot worse because I feel like the armpit is kind of like a painful spot. So we'll see because I feel like the first day was not my most painful day with the lumpectomy um, because like you're on like all the anesthesia meds and like whatever still and everything starts to get way more sore afterwards. But I know on my first day with the lumpectomy, I wasn't doing as much as I did today. I came home, I ate dinner with my husband and daughter, I sat on the couch with her, and then after Gray and her went to sleep in her room, I went downstairs and cleaned up all the books and the toys, and I did not do any of that with my lumpectomy. I could have, it's not like I was in that much pain, but it was kind of like I wasn't really feeling like doing it, and this time I was kind of like, I feel like I could easily do this as long as like the stuff doesn't weigh a lot. I couldn't pour the milk into my daughter's bottles, even if it was just the left side. I feel like that still would have hurt just because it was almost a full gallon of milk, so it was kind of heavy. But like all her light toys and stuff, I had no problem picking up and putting away and, and stuff like that. Honestly, I feel like I could do more with the right arm than they told me I could do, but I'm not gonna do more than they told me to do, obviously, because I feel like I might just not know how bad it's gonna hurt. I'll give you a view of my incision. Obviously, if you don't want to see the incision, then click away. People were talking about my lumpectomy incision last time, and they were like, wow, that's so big. My incision isn't that big. And it's interesting because I go and I look at that video now and I'm like, wow, that incision is huge because when it heals, it kind of like shrinks down a little bit and it's like a lot smaller. So like if I look at that incision now, it's like way smaller and way less noticeable than obviously right after I had surgery. So I'm wondering how much this is gonna shrink down and look differently after the surgery. Okay, there's the incision right there. So that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna prop my arm up with pillows and try to have a nice night's sleep but I honestly already think it's gonna be easier to sleep than it was with the lumpectomy because with the lumpectomy I had to kind of get my breast in like the right position I had to like put everything against things in certain ways so that it wouldn't hurt and this kind of feels like all I have to do is make sure that like my arms not touching my side so see what happens so far so good hi everybody i'm here for one last update it is friday now 
So I'm just gonna give you an update on how the recovery is going so far. I have ice here, but I'm gonna wait until after the video to use it. Um, so basically most of the pain is gone now. The worst day was the second day. Um, so like not the surgery day, but the next day. That's when I woke up and was like, oh yeah, okay. Now I feel a little pain here, but honestly it wasn't that bad. I think in general, it is better than a lumpectomy in the breast because in the breast, your breast kind of hangs down and even though you're wearing like a bra that's like providing compression, whatever, it's still going to hang down. Hey, my camera died and I don't feel like getting a new battery for it and I don't feel like remembering to film this later. So anyway, what I was saying was the pain... The pain that's worse with this one is the pain of the actual incision with the breast. It was just, you know, over here, it was in a bra, you're not touching it, it's padded a lot of the day. Over here in your armpit, it's just kind of a bad spot because, like, your armpit is, like, always constantly going up and down and the cut is just, like, right in there. Usually when I wake up in the morning, everything feels great because it's just been laying normally all night long and not brushing up against anything but by the end of the day I feel like I need to sit and put ice on my arm because it's just like I've been using the arm. I honestly expected this to hurt a lot more than it does. I expected this to be worse than the lumpectomy in every way because of the spot that it's in and I really don't think it is. I This is way easier than having all the lymph nodes taken out like I did in 2019 that caused pain all the way down my arm and basically if you brushed up against the arm it would hurt a lot i don't have that this time but as the days have been going on i've noticed that i don't really have feeling like un uh, my sweatshirt is so baggy okay i don't have feeling at like this part in my arm which is exactly how my left arm feels still from the surgery that I had in 2019. So I'm wondering if that's going to go away because more of this arm was numb, but I've gained more feeling in it as like the years have gone by. But this is just right, just a smaller spot right here that is numb. So... I'm wondering if that's gonna like get better or if that spot's just gonna be completely numb just like this side. Okay, so I haven't tried to lift my daughter yet who is now almost 30 pounds. I think she's like 29 pounds. Um, but I feel like I could if I really needed to and it's the weekend now, it's Friday night. So Gray is home and Gray is able to do like most of the lifting, but tomorrow I'm probably gonna lift her and do some stuff. I've had people here during the week. Gray's been able to work from home and when he hasn't been working from home, I've had some other family members that have been able to come and help out. So that's all been really nice and the baby's been really happy. And yeah, I overall um I'm still I'm still sleeping alone tonight, but I don't think that I actually have to anymore. I think that if the baby like hit me in her sleep I would be able to like make sure I was in a position where she wouldn't hurt me and that's the other thing about this surgery that is different from the lumpectomy the lumpectomy felt like it was harder to keep her away from the painful spots now the painful spots are mostly under my arms so she doesn't really get to that area very easily with the lumpectomy, it was on my front, so it was kind of like if she was sitting in my lap, she could get it or like climbing on me. But under my arm is kind of really hard for her to get to unless I'm like raising my arm up. And it still hurts if she like pulls on the arm, but it doesn't hurt anywhere near as bad as if like, you know, she was under the arm or with the lumpectomy in the breast if she was like pushing against the breast. So Overall, I think this surgery is a lot easier to handle if you have a toddler, but this surgery has also been on my right side and the other stuff has always been on my left and that's been a lot different because I'm right-handed. So there's been a few things that um, I've had to like do left-handed and I all almost always use my right 
arm to carry my daughter so it's gonna be kind of hard to carry her on the left and I think that's like the only reason I haven't tried to lift her is because if this was on my left side I think I would have already tried to lift her maybe today but since it's on my right side I'm like so much less strong on my left that I think it'll be hard to lift her up because I might still need to use like a little bit of support from my right side and it's it hasn't been enough time I, I can't lift her fully on my right side I have gotten some pathology results back I think they basically got everything and nothing is really surprising I want to wait and I'll probably make a separate video about the results because I want to wait and talk to the surgeon, my oncologist, and kind of give you a full update on everything. But the breast surgeon did call me a few days ago and tell me it, there weren't any surprising results. Like it was cancer and we basically took out a lump of lymph nodes, which it was funny because the report said, we think that there were four lymph nodes taken out, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> it says like approximately four. So I guess like the cancer in the lymph nodes kind of made it hard to tell. And um, originally I was kind of thinking that we were only taking out one node, but I guess when she was in there looking, she thought that more needed to be taken out. So um, I'll just give you a better update on that when I have all of the information because It'll just be confusing if I give it in parts and it's in different videos. The site itself is looking better. There's still some bruising under the arm and I haven't had any really like big swelling or anything. It was my first time for this surgery putting an IV in my left side since my surgery in 2019 and that all went really well and the nurse got it on the first try and I was just like, that's my trusty left side. My trusty left side was always better than the right side. That was one one of my concerns that I've had lymph nodes taken out of this arm and now I will have had lymph nodes taken out of this arm too and when you get lymph nodes taken out they tell you to try to avoid getting your blood pressure drawn on that side and to avoid getting IVs or your blood taken from that side um, but the one of the breast surgeons that I was talking to was telling me that that's kind of like not super proven and it was kind of just something that hasn't been studied super well and they found that it actually doesn't really make a difference with lymphedema like people some people just get lymphedema and it doesn't really um, make it more likely if they use that side for blood and or not but it could but it doesn't seem to be but the studies on it haven't been like super precise because it's really hard to like have an actual research study about that but they're trying they're starting to say that that doesn't actually really matter anymore and so um, as long as you don't have like active lymph lymphedema going on then it's probably fine to use um, the arm that you had lymph nodes taken out of for blood and stuff because that was something that I was really concerned about before I got the surgery. I was like, what am I going to do now if I've had lymph nodes taken out of both arms? I don't really want them to use my feet. Like, that sounds just really annoying. Um, yeah, so for this, so for the surgery itself, since they were working on the right side, they used the left side and everything's been fine. A good test is that my wedding rings still fit. And when I was struggling with lymphedema for a couple years... Whenever I would have like a flare up of it, my wedding rings would not fit and I would have to move them over to the right side. And so my lymph, my rings are fitting, so I didn't have any swelling over there, so that's great. Okay, well, I think that's basically all that I have for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And yeah, that's all. Bye.